Hi, my fellow TIs. Last night, well, it was probably the AM. I think I went to sleep about three or something. That's what time I usually wake up when I go to sleep. But I've been sleeping like... Because <laughs> I go to sleep. Lately, and boom. It starts. It's slower now. But it starts in last night. You can always hear when they open a drawer. And boom, I knew she was going to hit me or whoever was there behind the wall in the bathroom. And, um, yeah, it happened like twice. But it wasn't super bad to where it is right now. You get me? I'm not getting burned no more. And poked but you know this shit goes through walls and, and it goes through windows and um yeah that's what I had to wake up to and then my cat hasn't been sleeping with me uh, the last like two three days because remember he got affected that once that once where um well first me I don't know what the fuck they hit me with, but, you know, I would lose con control of my, my body for a few seconds and go to collapse, and then I'd gain control of it again, you know. That was the first time that he ever, my cat ever got affected by it, you know. He'd be walking, and his butt would fall, and he'd try to keep on walking, you know, with his front legs. And it took him a long time to come back from that. You know, he, he'd fucking go to jump off the bed frame that I was sleeping on. And fucking, you know, all of a sudden he'd fall on his face because he couldn't use his arms. You know, and that fucking broke my heart. And I thought I was going to lose him because he wasn't there for a while. You know, and shit like this affects him. You know, he's used to sleeping with me. And if he's scared that he's going to get affected, he goes to the freaking cupboard. Because, you know, after that one time that he was affected, that it fucked with him too. You know, I'm glad he goes to the cupboard. You know, he's a little guy. You know, I mean, of course they fuck with me. I'm, I was already fucked up and disabled permanently. You know, and <laughs> they've taken more of my health. The long-term fucking effects. Come on. Nobody loses teeth <clears throat> by the root with no fucking cavity, no holes, not eaten up, not chipped, nothing. Okay. People that have mush mouth, they get eaten away. Me... I lose teeth, and I still got some of those teeth. I lose teeth, and they fall out from the root. No cavities, no holes in them. Figure that one out. Oh. Yeah, it hurts so bad. And I don't know how the fuck they hit me in my fucking back. I was laying on it. Oh, yeah, I do. Like I said, if you can go through walls and go through windows, it can go through floors. But, um... Oh, fuck. The nausea. It really sucks. You know, um, I posted that. Oh, fuck. Um, that short video of showing the, um, the basement, the workers, because I wanted to peek in. Because <coughs> it seems like they're right under my cover all the time. Ah, fuck! And, um, you know, there's passages in this fucking old building and stuff. But 
I went down there and there's like big old holes dug for the plumbing. You know, apparently nobody told those poor men that that dirt down there is contaminated and it can make you really ill. That's the reason the city the city deemed that that dirt down there contaminated. That's the reason that that they're not allowed to build nothing in there. Nobody's supposed to hang out in there, you know, shit like that. Those men should be wearing gloves or hazmat suits or fucking something. You know, I don't think anybody told them. Maybe the manager doesn't know. I don't know, but they should be wearing something because it's contaminated. And you, do they not understand what contaminated means, people? You know, contaminated. It can make you deathly ill. That's why I don't understand why one of the managers, one of the managers used to have fucking parties down there. Parties down there. And he knew, you know, and then they pee into this fucking bucket and they pour it in there. Okay. You don't want fucking water in there. And then another manager would use all that space, because there's a lot of space in that basement, would use all that space and have his have a big pool in there and fill it up and have his kids and their relatives and all the kids in here playing in that basement with where there's contamination. And then they'd empty the pool into the contaminated dirt. What is the matter with people? You know, uh, when they found the dead bodies in the basement, that didn't have shit to do with the contamination. You get me? And that was before I came. Um, I guess this place used to be a motel. You know, and it used to be a crack house. You know, like a crackhead motel. And, um... Oh, God. I mean, people have still got out of prison and stuff and came over here. <laughs> and my best friend, when he... Before the accident, I was different. And my best friend used to live across the hallway. And he'd tell me, go out there and get rid of that guy. <laughs> he just knocked out my door and asked me for crack. He's got big muscles. <laughs> hey, there's people on the roof. Go get rid of them. <laughs> Fucking, I walk up there, there's seven people on the fucking roof. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot different before the accident. But, um, you know, we'd be walking down the street, <clears throat> and his girlfriend would call, you know, we'd be walking the dog, his girlfriend would call, he says, it's okay, I'm with Brenna. Fucking <laughs> two o'clock in the morning, we're walking down the <laughs> Yeah, I used to be a lot different. But, um, it's all right. He found his inner wolf when he had to take care of me, and I couldn't walk. And I think having that experience with me, having to carry me and, you know, put me in the bathroom and carry around my machine that was attached to me, I think that prepared him for having kids. Because he was a germaphobe. And, you know... He reached in my back a couple times a day and fucking, you know, took out all that contamination and fucking contaminated sponges and shit and replaced the tubes and replaced everything inside my back. Yeah, that's how much my best friend loved me. <laughs> but what he went through with me, I think it prepared him for kids. You know, he found his inner wolf. You know, he was outside in the hallway. You don't belong here. You know what? Because I had to leave the door open. You know, I was getting his Wi-Fi to call him. And um, in case I had to go to the bathroom when I, when I couldn't walk, you know. Um, he left the door unlocked and shit. So, he, you know, well, he had a key anyways long before that. Um, I had a key to his pad too. But, you know, we started knocking because one time he, he entered and stuff and I was just getting dressed from having sex with my girlfriend. 
And one time I entered his place and he was getting his sucked. <laughs> so we started knocking before we used our key. <laughs> but, um, see, I'm trying to put my mind in a better place. But my body fucking hurts so bad. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to music that doesn't have any memories. You know, my rucka rucka. You know, it's a little little bit of stereotype, <laughs> which he makes fun of everybody, every race. <laughs> um, some f fuckery and ridiculism and a little bit of truth. You know, sometimes he sticks a little bit of information about history and shit. But um, it doesn't have any memories connected to it. And, you know, it makes my head and everything just like, phew, when things are bothering me. And that's the niche I found for not being lost so far and so long down in that deep pit of depression. You get me? I mean, I still got things. But, hey, I don't go a couple months without brushing my hair anymore and wearing the same clothes for months because I'm depressed and sitting there, laying there day and night, fucking doing nothing but eating, you know, and peeing. That's it. Yeah. So I found my niche. And plus the fact that, you know, God changed me. You know, I'm calmer. And I'm more, you can understand me more and um, comprehend what I'm saying. Because I used to just get so, and yeah, I get so upset and freaking, you wouldn't under, be able to understand what I was saying because I was here, there, everywhere, you know? Yeah. But, um, I'm going to sit down and see if I can get rid of some of this pain. You know, it's pretty messed up. Oh, and look, I showed you that yesterday because, see, I finally got light. Remember I told you that? I don't know if you watched it, but, um, Miss Jessica, it's a street. Um. Well, there used to be a part of my spine brace on my keys, but my keys got stolen. You know, it was to remind me who I used to be, what I've been through, and how far I've come and grown. I carried, it was just a little spine brace because the metal part went up to my neck. There was metal parts, and I felt like, um, uh, forest, run, forest, run. You know, like, when he started running, all the metal parts from his braces started falling away well that's what happened to me with the metal parts I mean it was really heavy with those metal parts but um until it just became a turtle shell brace but um when I couldn't walk oh and I was finally yeah I couldn't walk and I had the walker he he put the walker in front of me uh my best friend and he'd stick you see that? He'd stick his skateboard through it. <laughs> skateboard, gamer, stoner. <laughs> yeah. Um, he'd stick his skateboard through it, and he'd make me something to eat and put it on there. And I'd sit up in my spine brace. So I really, I was going to give it away, but I really didn't want to give it away. And you know what? Look at how much light it gives off. I haven't had this much light. Um, since probably the first, like, four or, five, four or five years that I lived here, when I used to freaking read and go to the library, I had 20-20 vision. No kind of light. Look at all this light. It lights up the whole freaking room. See, I don't have that light on. That light, I kept on trying to put, put a freaking light in there that has some, you know, power. And it burns out. 
the ones that they put in here, it burns out. You try to put a light with some, you know, light in it. It burns out. It won't take anything. So, you know, I'm always in the freaking dark. You know, before she made me that, because I love it. It's got a lot of sentimental value. Before she made me that, I went to the thrift store. Oh, oh, oh. I got this one. Oh, uh, that's my aunt, my Guy Fox mask. I am an Anon. Um, this one and that one. And do you know that the one that she, she made me out of <laughs> my Brody's board? Brody, I should, Brody because he's my brother and he's my buddy. But yeah, it lights up the whole freaking room. If I still had my eyesight, I could actually read. <laughs> but I love it. I freaking love it. It lights up the whole freaking room. And I was able to see everything on the damn, on the damn wall. I think I showed it to you yesterday and stuff. Okay. You can see every new thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like, come in here and do shit on the fucking wall, but they don't fucking, hey, fix my toilet paper holder or nothing. Nothing. Hey, I waited 10 years to get that, you know, my shower door um, fixed. Um, it wasn't the door. It was the, all it needed was the track. You know how you slide it? Yeah. And they said they'd fix it. You know what they did? They gave me a fucking shower rod. And a fucking cheap ass shower curtain. You know how I I waited so long for that, for somebody to put a track on the door of the shower. You know, um, the medicine cabinet. You know, after like 15 years, it slid off because apparently somebody stapled it in there. Remember how I told you that there's a space in between here. There is a space in between here that somebody could go in. That's how the damn medicine cabinet was put on. Somebody stapled it from inside because it stuck out from the inside of the wall. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and it finally just slid off. You know what they replaced it with? A fucking cheap fucking ass plastic one. Do you think they've ever painted? But yet. But yet. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. You could see the new shit that they, that they put there. You see all that white down there? You see all the white? Yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I can't really see. Well, I think I'm, yeah. I'm making it shadow. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, I finally got some of this rubber stuff up. It wasn't covering any holes, and it's not spackled. You see this shit? I got a lot of it off. Um, yeah, it's not covering holes. Look, does that look like a hole to you? No, but there